Welcome to the Philly Comic Examiner review of the of Hasbro's Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Abomination Series action figures. Um, not really a single theme here. We have comic book versions. We have, uh, you know, Avengers, non-Avengers, Marvel Cinematic Universe versions of characters. So, quite a bit of a... Uh, of a spread here but all interesting so let's have a look um first up just you know overall the hasbro figures come with about you know any you know approximately 25 points of articulation uh, you know ankles you know multiple knee joints elbow joints chest waist you know head um just you know something that's Amuses me, but I actually respect for Hasbro. They reuse a lot of their molds, um, you know, individual pieces, you know, the bodies, and they just kind of um, <clears throat> give them different paint jobs. I mean, you might, you know, be able to tell just looking at Wonder Man and Captain America. It's kind of the, looks like the same body, but painted differently. Um, and it's just, I think it's smart for, for Hasbro to do that. Keeps costs down and, you know, lets them put resources towards making the Builder figure that much better. Um, just, you know, just to keep going with it, you know, the belt is separately molded just so they can keep the uh, pel pelvis area, you know, the same. They don't have to change the mold. If, in order to have that belt on there, they would have to do a whole new sculpt there. But now they don't have to. They're just a much smaller sculpt is necessary for the belt, and there you go. It actually, adds a, a adds it adds to the figure. It's a new dimension. You know, it's makes it makes makes it seem more three dimensional, more realistic. So I think that's a that's a that's a cool move on their part. Um, as you can see, there, we'll just start with Captain America here. We have. This is the Secret War, Secret War Captain America costume. Um, it's a, it's a cool design. Uh, you know, it's not one I'm overly familiar with. It's not the best, but it's it's certainly, you know, representative enough of Captain America and looks looks cool. Shield, obviously. Um, you probably noticed a hole in the back of the figures. It doesn't really have utility. Um, to even Captain Britain has two for whatever reason that is. Um, for 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 Captain America, you know, it, it serves a function. I don't know what the original purpose of that was, but at least for Captain America, fit his uh, shield right in there. So that's actually another cool dimension to the figure. Um, it can also fit on his wrist. And on top of that, it has a cool kind of shield throwing interchangeable hand. Swap it out there. Pop the shield on and there you go. Captain America in action. Tossing this shield to the bad guys. Get out of here. Stop being bad. Alright. So, I, I, you know, this Captain America, I think it's well done. Looks great. I mean, that's a cool, cool um, action feature for figure this type. And, you know, it still works as kind of like in display mode, sort of. Can have that going. Probably. Um. Don't mind that, just dropping pieces. All right, come back, Red Skull. I'm sorry. Next up is this this Captain Britain. I mean, I I I I, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just a fan of patriotic characters to begin with, but just 
I, I mean, I've never seen Captain Britain this size. Like, he's just jacked. He's just, you know, in the finger of those gloves. I just want to do, you know, weightlifting poses with him all, you know. Just makes me want to, you know, rest, wrestling poses and... Yeah, you know, just I, I I think it's fun. Again, there's the you know loose belt, the non-functional holes in the in the back, but you know same same kind of degree of articulation. Overall, it's, the head's a little this particular head's a little wobbly, but. It tends to happen on these figures occasionally, um, but yeah, I, I I like it just for you know just for posing is fun in and of itself. <clears throat> Wonder Man, another another favorite. Um, he comes with a set of of kind of regular hands, and he has this kind of ionized, powered up. These, you know, slide right off these kind of energy. So, just slide right on there. They don't, you know, they can be a little secured a little bit, you know, but they're going to they're gonna come loose if, if you kind of engage a little bit just to use Red Skull again. There you see, now they're they're loose, but whatever. I mean, it's supposed to be swirling around anyway, right? That's what it's supposed to look like, so why not? Anyway, I like Wonder Man. He doesn't get enough um, use. Wish they would use him more. So I'm glad he has his figure. Looks great. Glad they tried to kind of represent his power. So cool. Hope you've learned your lesson, Red Skull. Next up is the kind of the Avengers film version of Scarlet Witch. Um, seems very out of place with this whole assortment, but nonetheless, here she is. We've got some kind of swirling mystical. I'm about to use my hex power on you. But those also slide off rather easily and then she falls um, again um, you know same articulation got the nice kind of you know separately molded cape overall as far as you know figures based on movie characters Overall, pretty well done. So you can get a bit of the likeness there. All right, moving on to the villains. This is the eel, which I will admit to being completely unfamiliar with, but he has one heck of a cool design. That is one awesome costume. So, wherever he shows up, I don't know, I'm going to have to track down some appearances because he just looks cool. He has, you know, clearly has, he's an electric eel with this lightning powers. It does come with two regular hands for fisticuffs. Again, another really cool figure. Again, if you if you saw the um, Venom series from Marvel Legends, the Electro figure has you know these same hands. Again, has we're reusing parts. I think it's a smart move. Last but not least, there's the Iron Skull version of Red Skull. Uh, nice 
sleek um, the mold to represent that he's wearing a suit of armor separately molded shoulder pads I guess they're not pads they're metal whatever some great detail in the actual skull sculpt there if it starts to focus at any point and his big feature is that his head comes off and is replaced with his iron skull helmet that's on there. Oh, oh. God, at any moment you can. There you go. Some of these are easier to get on than others. There you have it. And of course, this is a build a figure series. So, each one of these figures comes with a part of another figure. Get them all together, snap the pieces together, and you get the Abomination Build-A-Figure, which is just a behemoth of a figure. Even the super jacked Captain Britain is highly intimidated. Very short compared to him. As you should be, the abomination should be gigantic. Very cool sculpt, sculpt there. And again, you know, reuse some parts here, and you can get, you know, some 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 better looking, more detailed <clears throat> pieces for the build-up figure. And you know, this has about twenty, you know, nineteen points of articulation. Slightly less than that regular figures, but given the size, it's not really all that surprising. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure any of these characters have anything to do with Abomination. You know, he's generally a Hulk vill villain. There aren't really any Hulk figures here, but... I can only guess that means that maybe there'll be a... Or there has been a Hulk build a figure series, and they can do battle. But, as it stands... Abomination is not impressed with any of you. Um, thanks for watching my review. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at PA Comic Examiner and check out BamSmackPal.com for more comic and action figure news and reviews. Get out of here!